Hey guys, Mr. Cody24 coming at you with another YouTube video. Today we're gonna to be installing a Borla exhaust system into my 2015 Silverado 5.3 liter V8. It's a double cab with a standard bed. You open up this box, you will see all the goodies on the inside here. I got the muffler right there. I got the dual split pipes in the back. They split out the back with the black chrome tips. And uh, got the instruction booklet. They gave me a nice little Borla hat. Decent quality. I'll tell you what, I'll wear that the rest of the video. There we go. All right. Boom, it's done. Okay. Let's uh, look at this pipe real quick. Give you some heat shield to wrap around your brake line so you don't you know melt your brakes and end up on the side of the road somewhere wishing you had brakes all the exhaust mounts hangers and everything are included there should be a bolt on my truck otherwise this might not be happening we'll see i gotta find out but here's the tip a little peek at it i got the black chrome Looks real good. It's a four inch exhaust tip. So let's see. There you go, the Borla four inch exhaust tip. It's gonna look sweet on the back of my truck. Come out on both sides. There's the other one down in there. Anyway, let's get this installed. All right, before we install this exhaust system, I have to remove the old one and that involves using the jack stands and jack to jack it up. So let's get that done. We'll skip to the good part where I start taking parts off. All right, we're gonna try to go ahead and loop that. It's a pretty damn rusty though. So I'm hoping the screw does back out. Otherwise it's gonna be uh, darn near impossible because I got to reuse this clamp here and this is the catalytic converter like going that way towards the back <sighs> we'll see how it is all right the next thing I got to lube each of these rubber hangers that hold the exhaust on try to lube them up so that way I can get some uh, so I can get them off easier without ruining them hopefully this works so here we are on the next day, future tip for people, just buy a freaking clamp beforehand. It's $17.99 and uh, you won't have to do what I'm trying to do because it's too rusty to take out. It's completely screwed. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you back up when I start putting parts on. All right, now that we've ground that off and cut through the screw and all that bull crap, this thing is tack welded on, up on top I think got some sort of clip up here it's just gonna slide it off but now that I got that apart we get to move to the hangers down back here start sliding that apart I've already started on that one and then we got to get three more back there so I'll show you the back ones when I get there it's also raining sometimes I think someone's trying to tell me to stop working outside alrighty as you guys can see I got it out even though it's raining I decided to screw it. I gotta go to work later here anyway. So, there's the full exhaust, muffler, resonator, tailpipe. Full things out. I just gotta work on putting the other parts in, which I might do after work tonight when it's not raining. Yeah. All right. So, as you can see, you got the clamp on there. It's not tight. I can move it if I had to. I didn't tighten it down, I didn't crank it down or anything. Um, got the hangers in. You follow that wonderful exhaust pipe. But as you can see, the clamps are just dangling there. There's some of the fittings. There's the muffler. Still gotta adjust it a little bit because back there, the exhaust. Can I focus? There it goes. Back there, the exhaust needs a little bit of movement because it's a little sideways. Then I got the other exhaust that's got to pop out over on behind that wheel. So this will get adjusted. This will get moved. Right now, when you put this in, you just get the hangers on and you get the uh, pipe put in place. So that way you can move it around and adjust it, get it all set up and everything. So yeah, 
here we go. We're gonna do that now. All right, now is the adjustment and uh, bolt tightening portion of this wonderful mess. Um, the fact that I got mud flaps is a little nerve wracking. It's very tight, like less than a finger's width right here. So I'm going to try to adjust it and see if I can get it to sit a little bit. If not, I'm gonna have to figure something out because I think that should be sitting like right there. Like, that's fair. Like right there is fair, right? I mean, yeah, I think there should be fair. Like, I could have my hand in there. I feel like if my hand's in there, it's not gonna burn, but who knows. All right, so here we are on the right side. Things they don't cover. This is where the little heat shield goes to protect the brake lines from the exhaust, since it gets really close to that. I mean, it's literally like that far away. So that exhaust can move. I'll probably put it closer to the tire because I feel like it won't do so much to the tire. Rubber versus that. But. I gotta also be conscious of my mud flaps because apparently that's gonna be a problem. Like, eh, we'll see. But anyway, the second thing they don't cover is the mounting bracket they include in the kit. In my truck, there are two bolts holding the frame on for the ball hitch. That goes to ball hitch. First bolt, second bolt. And the second bolt's the only place that makes sense. So, that's where you put it. I just got done torquing down all the bolts. It looks good. About as close as even as I can get. So there you go. Time to do a sound check. At this point, I gotta do a leak check, make sure there's no exhaust leaks. But this is the moment of truth. Here's the official startup. Longer than I expected due to issues such as rain, um, a rusted clamp that otherwise I'd have had it done in about 45 minutes or so. All right, straight portion here. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Holy shit! This thing's awesome. Four-cylinder motor gives it like a whoop. It sounds good though. All right, ready? Quite literally throws me back in my seat. I love this. This this has given me a whole new life. I would suggest a Corsa closed box intake and a Barilla exhaust. It kind of completes the truck, honestly. I would recommend you guys get a Borla cat back exhaust system as well. Sounds amazing, as you guys can hear. All right guys, well, that's gonna be it on the Barilla exhaust system. Um, I give it a 10 out of 10. It sounds good, it's not too loud. Later review on the both the air intake and the exhaust will be coming when it's uh, worn in a little bit and I can kind of let it sit. But for now, it sounds good, it looks good, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Mr. Cody24 is out.